Hello everyone, I'm Sarah. Welcome to A Curious Cuttlefish. Today we will be doing a yarn review and we will be talking about scrubby yarns. Yesterday, I had said I was going to be doing a series of reviews on yarns individually, but I decided that it would be better just to have um, all these yarns together and take you through them one at a time, or one step at a time. So we are going to be talking about all the scrubby yarns that I've been seeing in stores recently. <clears throat> so let me tell you about these. The first one is Red Heart Scrubby and this is one that you can find I I got this one from Walmart this is a 85 gram ball or 3 ounces it is 78 yards or 71 meters it recommends to use 5.5 millimeter hook and it is uh, labeled as a 4 medium weight and 100% polyester. It says it is machine washable and dryable. Right above here I will put how much this yarn cost along with the other details. This color is Waves. So here's the Red Heart one, the Red Heart Scrubby. Let's hold it right side up. Here you go. So that there's one. And then I had ordered some of the Premier Yarns. Premier Yarns, they call this one Washi. So this is also 100% polyester. This is a um, 100 gram ball. It is 85 meters or 92 yards, which let's compare. Um, 78 yards versus 92 yards. You get a bit more in this one. It is also a medium four weight, and they recommend using a 5.5 millimeter hook. Machine wash and dry. So this one is by Premier Yarns. The color is red. And there it is. Premier Yarns Washi. And if I can pull up the yarn here. So this yarn, the thread looks very similar to the thread from Red Hearts Scrubby. And I will probably throw up a picture after I've introduced all the yarns for you guys. Um, and you can see how they look and differ. Oh, I have two colors of that one. So I have a red and an orange, and the premiere is washy. That down. <clears throat> then I wanted to find it at Ice Yarns. So Ice Yarn, this is called Scrubber Twist Color. They recommend to use a 5mm hook, um, it is a 4 medium weight, 100% polyester, machine wash and dry, it is a 100 gram ball, 90 meters, which puts it at the most, you get the most yardage out of this one so far. And there you have it. This comes in a pack of four, and again, I will put the price for it right up here. And finally, um, we are going to include Hobium in this yarn comparison. So Hobium has their Kartobu Wash It yarn. This is 100% polyester, is machine wash and dry. And let's see, they it is 98 yards, which is less than ice yarns, um, 100 grams, and I don't see a hook size recommendation. Five millimeter, maybe. I'm. I can't really understand. I'm. I'm assuming that that means a five millimeter hook. So, three point five ounces or a hundred grams. So, let's see if I can be skilled enough to hold up all these yarns. So you guys can see them with their labels. Hmm. 
Ah, maybe. So here are the yarns I'm going to be reviewing and comparing. These are all scrubby yarns. These are all yarns that you would use to make washcloths or something to do dishes or clean around your house. So the plan for these is to make some dishcloths out of them and then talk about them, compare them. I will be doing a crochet one and a knit one so I can tell you how they crochet, how they knit. I will also show you how they um, frog for crochet because I'm very curious since these have so many, uh, it reminds me of almost like a fur yarn, right? They have all these bits coming off of it so I'm wondering if they will frog well. So this will be part one in, I'm guessing, a three-part series about these yarns. So now I'm going to introduce, or I'm going to put in a clip of all these yarns together laid out on a table so that you can see how the strands differ. So I'll put that picture in here and then I can talk about them one by one as they're all laid out for you. So taking a look at the Red Heart Scrubby, it appears that this yarn is a two ply that's woven together because at the end there you can see that it came apart a little bit and I wouldn't say that there's a ton of the little scrubby, um, I don't know what I should call these, like they're not fibers but you know there's, I wouldn't say that there's a lot of the extra fluff on it. So, and they're short. They're short and pretty tightly wound together on the Red Heart Scrubby. Very fast color changes there. And then moving on to the Premier Yarn, you see it right next to it, it's the red one. Um, these look like the strands are longer and smaller than the Red Heart Scrubby. They're the fibers that are sticking out on here are a lot smaller, they're a lot thinner, and this one is also like a two-ply, it's like a two-ply yarn that's put together. It's not coming apart as much as the Red Heart Scrubby, but I would say that this is a lighter weight scrubby yarn than the Red Heart, so the Premier is definitely on the lighter side. And then, looking at the ice yarns, I would say this is about the same as the Red Heart Scrubby. It is not coming apart. I would. It is a two-ply, not coming apart at the end like the Red Heart. These are the, the scrubby parts fibers sticking out on this one are definitely longer than Red Hearts. These are much longer. They are not evenly spaced, I would say, but they seem more held together than Premier Yarns. They're washy. They're not as um, flimsy, for lack of a better word. So that is the Ice Yarns one, and also the color change happening in the Ice Yarns is a much more gradual change of color than you see in the Red Heart Scrubby. The Red Heart Scrubby, it's changing quite frequently. And finally, looking at the Kartopu, this one, I would say, is a mixture as far as that scrubby fiber length goes. It has some really long ones, it has some really short ones, and I think I like that variance in it. Um, it is a two ply. This one also does not come apart like the Red Heart one does, or the Washi. And it feels well put together, just like the Ice Yarns. So, let's see, comparing, they're all made of 100% polyester. 
They are all machine wash and dry, and they just have different yardage in them. And all of these come in um, various colors. I just, this, these are the ones I have available, these are the ones I ordered, and so these are the ones that will be compared. And yeah, thank you for watching part one. I will be showing you the crochet and knit projects in part two and explaining how the process of making those went what patterns I used and picked to make said dishcloths and how much I enjoyed working with each yarn. So you will see that in part two. And then in part three I will talk about price comparison, the value of how much yarn you are getting for the price. I will show you guys how well each of them frogs when I'm pulling it out because I'm curious if this will get caught. And I will also give you my honest opinion and review on what I feel would be the best scrubby yarn to purchase if you are interested in purchasing a scrubby yarn. So thank you so much for watching my video and review on scrubby yarns. This is part one and we will be seeing part two on Thursday and I will be concluding this series on Friday. So I enjoy you guys watching. Thank you for checking out my channel. If you have enjoyed this review, please hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. I love all my returning subscribers and all you viewers out there. I do my best to reply to the comments in my videos. I'm not always able to get to them all, and in my giveaways, I don't know how the YouTube random comment picker works, but I do not want um, to be picked for my giveaway, so I haven't really commented on those, unless I can find a way to just filter myself out. I will look into that. So thank you for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.